And new complaints tonight about the front line of health care in this province. Critics saying that ambulance paramedics are being forced to work out of substandard facilities, cramped quarters, no space to store medical supplies, and temporary headquarters that never get replaced. Ron Benzi has more about that. An ambulance returns to its home base in Port Moody after dropping off its patient at nearby Eagle Ridge Hospital. Home base is a single wide portable office trailer, officially known as Ambulance Station Number 259. It's home to three vehicles and their crews. The station has been here for three years in what was supposed to be a temporary facility. Now we're receiving complaints uh, from the public that uh, the IMO station is uh, embarrassing and this really is embarrassing and it's disrespectful towards the community to uh, have a trailer sitting here on the lawn and calling that an ambulance station. It's just really not an acceptable place to work. Inside, accommodations are tight. There's administration space, a small eating area, a bathroom, a shower and two bedrooms containing two small beds and medical supplies are stored in a separate trailer out back. There's nowhere to properly uh, clean and uh, decontaminate the ambulance and the equipment. There's no way to um, safely and uh, properly uh, store the uh, medical equipment and transfer it from the trailer to the ambulances uh, in the inclement weather that we're experiencing these days. In North Vancouver, the ambulance station, located in a former crack house, emergency vehicles are forced to remain parked outside underneath large makeshift canopies since the garage is too small. The union says their concerns are being ignored by government. There's places like Revelstoke where the ambulance is uh, housed uh, in a bus repair shop and uh, you know there's all sorts of hazards that go uh, hand in hand with that. Uh, places like Fernie where uh, the, the station is just far too small, uh, it's been outdated for years and years. These are vital issues to public safety, to public security and the personal health of everybody who lives in this region and this province and it's time that they came to these stations, saw what the situation was, was and made things better. But for BC's health minister, the situation is far from an emergency. I know in places like Port Moody and Richmond, North Vancouver, Revelstoke, Kamloops, uh, we, have, uh, we have been looking forward to making additional capital expenditures on ambulance stations and we'll be doing that. The health minister says $2.7 billion worth in capital expenditures are on the way and improvements to ambulance stations are part of that but paramedics say they'll believe it when they see it.